Hello there, my name is Lime Lichen, your favorite lovable, laudable, loquacious, lime-based YouTuber. I play a lot of Don't Starve Together, and I main the best character in the game, Warly. Safe to say, I know my way around a crockpot. So today, I'm gonna make my personal comprehensive tier list of all crockpot dishes as of version 587,581. This list will be on a scale from S to F, and I'll talk about each dish in alphabetical order, minus the Warly dishes, which I'll save for the end of the video. This is my opinion, so if you disagree, then comment why and what position the dish should be in. I love getting political. Made with collected dust and any fillers, ambrosia isn't really a food item since the survivors can't eat it. Instead, it's used to farm thulocyte by feeding it to the dust moths of the archives. I could drop this in F for it not being food, but since thulocyte is needed for lots of useful magic items, I'll put this in C tier for its utility. Also because farming thulocyte with this method is kinda slow, but at least you don't have to reset the ruins. Requiring an asparagus, one veggie, and two filler excluding ice, asparagus soup restores 20 health, 18.5 hunger, and 5 sanity. It is an economical option for someone who doesn't want to eat ratatouille and is better in the health department. Great for those who only have a spear of asparagus and mushrooms, B tier. With one and a half meat and two eggs, you can make this balanced breakfast, which heals for 20 health and restores 75 hunger and five sanity. I think bacon and eggs are one of the better uses for extra monster meat due to this dish's higher health restoration ability than meatballs. Plus, as Wilson, you get better stats, A tier. With a banana, ice, and some twigs, you'll get a banana pop, which doles out a respectable 20 health, 13 hunger, and 33 sanity, along with cooling your internal temperature by 10 degrees over 10 seconds. If you're in the caves, why waste the ice if overheating is not really an issue underground? Wendy loves it, so only sad people should make this. C tier. Now with two bananas and two twigs, you can make a slightly worse banana pop. Banana shakes, restoring eight health and 25 hunger instead, but still restoring 33 sanity. I know how hard it can be to get bananas out of the caves, so this gets extra points for not requiring ice. A tier. With two barnacles and two veggies, you too can have a mediocre fish dish that's too expensive for its benefits. Barnacle linguine gives 75 hunger, 20 sanity, and a whopping 10 health. Unless it's all you have access to, it's really not worth the trouble and you'd be better off making the next barnacle dish, C tier. Cheaper than the linguine, with one barnacle, one kelp, and one egg, you get 40 health, 37.5 hunger, and 5 sanity. I'd say that barnacle nigiri is superior because of the effort it takes to obtain barnacles, and I'm personally more willing to make a swap for higher healing dish rather than hunger values, B tier, for barnacle. With only a barnacle and a veggie, this dish is even cheaper than linguine and has comparable stats at 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 5 sanity. In fact, with the same ingredients as linguine, you could make two barnacle pitas and heal for quadruple those numbers. I just really wanted to hammer home how bad linguine is in terms of ingredient efficiency. B tier. Made with a forget-me-lot, a twig, and a birch nut, the beefalo treats would be great at healing your beefalo, but you can just feed them blue mushrooms for the same effect, so I wouldn't consider unless you wanted to fill your scrapbook. D tier. With a piece of leafy meat and three veggies, beefy greens act like the beyond meat of the don't starve world. 40 health, 75 hunger, and 5 sanity is nothing to scoff at. The only problem with this dish is that wort can't eat it, despite the fact it contains no actual meat items. B tier. Requiring an egg, a veggie, and some twigs, breakfast skillet is great for healing if you have no meat for pierogi, but there are other dishes that share its stats, healing for 20 health and restoring 37.5 hunger and 5 sanity. It is a decent and respectable choice. B tier. One morsel and three ice a bunny stew will make. This recipe used to be meatballs, but I guess Clay wanted to rebalance that so we couldn't just spam it in the winter. It has the same stats as breakfast skillet and can also warm me up. B tier. Beefer. Bunny. One butterfly and one veggie and some twigs, butter muffins also have the same stats as the previous two dishes. It's certainly better than eating butterfly wings alone. When playing Warly, it can give you a use for them, as of course Warly rejects anything that isn't fine cuisine. This is also WX78's favorite food. Strange how a robot can have a favorite food, but whatever, A tier. With one fish and two kelp, California rolls share in the previous dish's stats. When sailing the high seas, it makes a great quick bite, but so do the other dishes, C tier. Two fish and two ice nets you a food item that just isn't very good. Ceviche heals for 20 health and restores 25 hunger and 5 sanity. Seems alright, but that's lower than the other options. Plus, unless you're on the surface during summer, you won't have much use for the cooling effect. Literally pointless, so this dish is going in F tier. With two potatoes, a piece of garlic, and a filler that isn't meat or honey, creamy potato puree heals for 20 health and restores 37.5 hunger and 33 sanity. 
it's just fancy mashed potatoes. Honestly, a little underwhelming, but that sanity is too good to ignore for the cost. A tier. One dragon fruit and a bundle of sticks makes the best bang for your buck crock pot dish on this list. Dragon pie, granting you 40 health, 75 hunger, and 5 sanity. You'd be remiss not to conjure up this meal deal. S tier. For one potato, at least one twig, and two fillers, fancy spiral tubers are one of those carnival staples. It heals for 3 health and restores 37.5 hunger and 15 sanity. The sanity is usually what I use it for if I can't get my hands on some garlic. B tier. With a single fig and a qualifant trunk, you get this weird cornucopia looking thing, the fig stuffed trunk. It has good stats with 60 health, 56.25 hunger, and no sanity, but this seems like such a waste of a qualifant trunk I'd rather make a vest with. And since the next dish is cheaper and much more comparable, F tier. One fig, two veggies, and a filler gives you what I believe to be the best fig recipe in the game, Figatoni, healing for 30 health and restoring 56.25 hunger and 15 sanity. I've always been partial to Italian food, definitely make once you get access to figs, S tier. Requiring one fig and one frog leg, the figgy frog witch is an enigma. By that I mean, why waste the fig on this recipe? Only healing for a measly 8 health and restoring 18.75 hunger and 15 sanity, its stats are balanced but lackluster. Something I'd save for the scrapbook, F tier. Using one fig, one meat, and two twigs, fig kebabs are awesome if you like eating food off a stick. For anything else, not really. This crockpot dish actually shares stats with plain jerky, so I would really stay away from making this. <sighs> Unless you're Warly, who can't eat jerky. What a waste. F tier. Now we're getting somewhere. With a fish, a twig, and some filler, fish sticks are among the best of the best in terms of availability, efficiency, and utility healing for 40 health and restoring 37.5 hunger and 5 sanity. Instant S tier. A piece of corn and fish with some filler gives us fish tacos. This dish is pretty good and only heals for 20 health less than the fish sticks, but if you have fish and twigs and veggies, why aren't you making fish sticks? This dish's existence bewilders me. C tier. Four berries or a single fruit and some ice will net you a fistful of jam. Healing for 3 health and restoring 37.5 hunger and 5 sanity, it's better than nothing, but admittedly a waste of berries since they can be used for other, better recipes. C tier. We got another healing food with a desert flower and some veggies. Flower salad can mend your wounds and make a great antipasto. Healing for 40 health and restoring 12.5 hunger and 5 sanity, just make sure you got some protection from those summer cacti. A tier. One frog leg, one veggie, and two fillers excluding eggs and honey gives us the Froggle Bunwich, aka the $5 footlong. Healing for 20 health and restoring 37.5 hunger and 5 sanity, it's more akin to diet food. Still a good option for when you're culling the frog population. B tier. A single banana and some ice can make us a frozen tropical sweet treat, the banana daiquiri. Healing for 30 health and restoring 18.75 hunger and 15 sanity, you'll feel refreshed with 15 degrees of cooling, making it one of the best dishes for that. Still, I have to acknowledge that bananas and ice aren't usually available at the same time. Plan in advance for this one, I guess. B tier. This dish takes three different types of fruit in the same pot, or some durians. It's fruit medley. For all the effort it takes to grow three different kinds of fruit, I really don't see the value in it. Healing for 20 health and restoring 25 hunger and 5 sanity, there are better uses for fruits that aren't a total disappointment. D tier. Guacamole is stupid. Not even kidding. Why is this in the game? You could be crafting mole goggles or something, but no. You want to eat some green goop with mole noses sticking out. Its stats suck too. 20 health and 37.5 hunger and a feeling of self-loathing? Don't even think about making this one. Instant F tier. Sweet meats are commercially successful for a reason. Nashville hot, teriyaki, and now honey ham. With two meat, and one honey with some fillers, it's guaranteed to impress all at the Winter's Feast party. This holly jolly ham hock heals for 30 health and restores 75 hunger and 5 sanity. Make one when you get the chance. S tier. Honey nuggets are like honey ham's little brother. Only requiring one meat and honey, these breaded fried delights heal for 20 health and restore 37.5 hunger and 5 sanity. A great substitute for the lean times and Woody's favorite food. A solid B tier. Milk or butter with honey and ice makes ice cream among the best sanity restoring foods in Don't Starve. 25 hunger and 50 sanity is in my opinion well worth the expensive ingredients, especially when playing as characters like Weber who have lower maximum sanity, where the nominal increases to sanity are much more significant. It also happens to be his favorite food. S tier. Uh, Ronald Reagan would be so proud. 
Jelly beans are objectively the best healing food. They don't fill your stomach, but they grant regeneration for two minutes, which in total is 122 health, and they never spoil. Additionally, this food works on all characters, even the ones who can't eat certain foods due to dietary restrictions, like Wormwood who can't heal from foods period, and Wigfrid who can't eat items that don't contain meat. Honestly, it deserves S tier, but I'm gonna knock it down a peg for the sole reason that fighting Bee Queen is an absolute pain in my ass, and I want to make some people mad, so let's say it's a high A tier. I guess we're going back to the 70s Jello craze with Jelly Salad. Two leafy meat and two honey gives us this gloriously green gooey delight. It restores 37.5 hunger and 50 sanity. Unfortunately, Wirt can't take advantage of this, so it's not as applicable as ice cream, but much cheaper since lure plants are a frequent spawn during the spring. It earns its spot in A tier. Another stick food, kebabs are something I'd recommend not making. With one meat and a stick and some filler, you get some of the worst food values in the game. 3 health, 37.5 hunger, and 5 sanity, putting it square in the middle of the pack. But if you have those fillers, why not make meatballs with them? Avoid at all costs. F tier. This is going in somewhat the same direction as jelly salad, but with far less returns. Leafy meatloaf is made with 2 leafy meats and any filler. Healing for 8 health and restoring 37.5 hunger and 5 sanity, you could have made any other meat recipe with those pieces of leafy meat. Never, ever put this in your crock pot. Make some jelly salad instead. F tier. One live lobster goes a long way. Along with some ice and fillers, lobster bisque heals for 60 health and restores 25 hunger and 10 sanity. Give this a try if you have a hankering for shellfish. A tier. Who said we couldn't be bougie in the constant? One live lobster and one butter with some twigs will get us eaten rich. Lobster dinner heals for 60 health and restores 37.5 hunger and 50 sanity. It's no wonder Maxwell loves this so much. It's a meal for a king. Make this whenever you get the chance. S tier. Mandrake soup is like grinding up gold to eat instead of using it for something useful. One mandrake and three fillers will destroy that mandrake which are finite resources in DST. Even its awesome healing and hunger stats aren't worth it. Just make pan flutes. F tier. With just a single piece of meat and some random fillers except twigs, I recommend berries, meatballs provide one of the best ingredient to hunger ratios in DST. They heal for 3 health and restore 62.5 hunger and 5 sanity. They are a franchise icon and I guarantee you've made a few of these when all you had was monster meat and ice. S tier. Who needs veggies? With three meat and one filler, meaty stew satisfies and quite well. It has one of the highest hunger restorations in the game with 150 hunger. I usually make a few of these to eat as warly so I can focus on food less. Once my memory timer is up, it only takes two of these to completely fill me up. Plus, meat is everywhere. S tier. You've probably bought one of these from a street vendor or ice cream truck. One melon, one ice, and two twigs gives us melon sickles. Healing for 3 health and restoring 12.5 hunger and 20 sanity, it's just okay, and cools you off in the heat, but I wouldn't go crazy trying to farm melons for it. C tier. This isn't so much a dish as it is a hat. With some nostrils, yes nostrils, kelp, and some milk or butter, you get the milkmaid hat. When you put it on, you'll continuously drink from it, keeping your hunger topped up. In total, it restores 187.5 hunger while wearing it. When combined with a belt of hunger, You'd suffer from diabetes, but never go hungry. Would have been great for Wolfgang had he not gotten his rework, but still a good choice. A tier. Monster meat should only be used sparingly in the crock pot, else you'll get monster lasagna. Just two monster meats is enough to corrupt a recipe. This stuff hurts to eat, too. I would only eat this as Weber, and even then just cook and eat the monster meat separately at that point. F tier. We've got another utility food. Using one of each mushroom gives us a mushy cake. It only gives back 25 hunger and 10 sanity, but it makes you much harder to send to sleep. Some use cases that come to mind are when you're exploring the moon islands at high lunacy or fighting Berger in any season since he likes to yawn to make you sleepy. All in all, pretty niche. Solid B tier. An egg, some meat, and a little Polish dulma, pierogies are the best healing food for its ingredients. 40 health is double that of a healing salve, and its hunger restoration isn't bad at 37.5, but that's not what you're going to be making these for. Because of the long shelf life, you can pack some with you when you're going to go fight a boss. All the pros go on and on about how good these are, and for a reason. S tier. Eggs. Just eggs. Plain omelets are another waste food. If you have eggs, why not make pierogies or meatballs? Unless you're Warly. It's just okay healing for 3 health and restoring 50 hunger and 5 sanity. Just don't make this. D tier. 
Here's a perfect dish for you twink lovers. One corn, one honey, and two twigs makes powder cakes. It doesn't do anything when eaten, but can be used to bait traps indefinitely since it seemingly never spoils. You could also season them to store away spice effects from Wiley, turning him into the team apothecary. Pretty good, so I'll send it to A tier. Autumn always conjures up images of orange falling leaves, a bitter wind chill, and of course the overabundance of pumpkin flavored items. With a pumpkin and two honey, Starbucks customers would be hounding for these pumpkin cookies. Unfortunately, they aren't as good as in real life. Restoring 37.5 hunger and 15 sanity, I wouldn't waste a pumpkin on it. Save them for lanterns or scarecrows. F tier. The French always disappoint. With some random veggies in the pot, Ratatouille shows us exactly why France lost both world wars. With those veggies, you could be shoving balls of meat in your jaws. Except for word, of course. Never, ever, ever make this unless you're a weirdo vegetarian. F tier. Con suerte habrás guardado algunos tomates para la salsa. One tomato root, one onion, and some ice gives us salsa fresca. Healing for 3 health and restoring 25 hunger and 33 sanity, we get a little less crazy when reminded of our abuelitas, but if you're Warly, you should save those onions and tomato roots for something else. I'll stick it in B tier. Seafood gumbo is like meaty stew, but saltier. Requiring about 2 fish and some filler, it's pretty good. Healing for 40 health and restoring 37.5 hunger and 20 sanity. There are better recipes with fish, so I wouldn't go out of my way to make this B tier. Therapy is expensive, so put those garden weeds to use with soothing tea. One forget me lot, two honey and some ice provides a one minute passive sanity gain at 0.5 sanity per second. S tier sanity item. Of course it's Willow's favorite food. Two meat and two veg makes a good spicy chili. It heals for 20 health and restores 37.5 hunger, but unless you're playing Willow and really need to stay warm, don't cook this. Once again, just make meatballs, C tier. Not food for you, food for her. Steamed twigs are a beefalo food and a decent one at that. Restoring 60 health and 100 hunger for the beefalo. It's better than just feeding it twigs and it's handy for beefalo taming if you're into that. Otherwise, don't make this because you'll regret wasting those twigs. B tier. I only ever really cook this consistently as Warly. Stuffed eggplant is, well, a stuffed eggplant. It usually gets made when you accidentally include one in your recipes. It's another okay dish, healing for 3 health and restoring 37.5 hunger and 15 sanity, but I only ever cook it as Warly to have some variety. Can't recommend D tier. You like getting head? That wasn't a question, of course you do. With a barnacle, two fish, and some twigs, you get something akin to stargazy pie. Stuffed fish heads are, uh, ghastly. They heal for 20 and restore 75 hunger, but they spoil extremely quickly, so eat it hot. Although those barnacles aren't exactly easy to get. C tier. If you're not playing Wily, this seems like a decent choice of dish. With a pepper, meat, and filler, stuffed pepper poppers make a great game day snack. They heal for 30 health and restore 25 hunger, but take 3 sanity. If you're playing Warly, you'd better save those peppers for spices. B tier. Hands down, the best dish in the game, and my favorite. With 2 fish and 2 meat, Surf and Turf easily solos all other fish dishes, healing for 60 health and restoring 37.5 hunger and 33 sanity. The Cajuns really do make it better. S tier. 3 honey in a crock pot gives us taffy, which takes 3 health from you and restores 25 hunger and 15 sanity. Don't waste that bee goo. This dish is all empty calories anyways. F tier. If you're ever in the business of trafficking children, I've got a great recipe for you. One Talberg egg, one veggie, and some twigs makes tall scotch eggs. Healing for 60 health and restoring a whopping 150 hunger and 5 sanity, an awesome use for an otherwise pointless item. S tier. Mountaineering takes a lot out of you, so refuel with some trail mix. One birch nut and some fruit and twigs creates the best early game health item. It heals for 30 health and restores 12.5 hunger and 5 sanity. Walter loves this given his scouting background. Totally a must if you need some health and can't afford the other dishes. A tier. Sometimes a warrior needs a good meal. Two drumsticks, one meat and berries for a dish Odin would smile upon. Healing for 20 health and restoring 75 hunger and 5 sanity. For everyone else, it's basically useless. Just make meatballs. C tier. Unagi looks good, but it's really worthless in the circumstances you would cook it in. With one eel, lichen, and some twigs, if you have eels and you're in the caves, just kill some spiders to make some surf and turf. I see no reason why you would make this. 
on last year Warly, F tier. This is basically a Bloody Mary. One asparagus or toma root, two veggies and some ice gives us a vegetable stinger. I can't imagine drinking a Bloody Mary for any reason other than getting drunk, but Winona likes the taste of it. It heals for 3 health and restores 25 hunger and 33 sanity. The best use of asparagus in the game. A tier. One leafy meat, one onion, and one veggie makes a veggie burger. I say veggie with heavy quotes since for some reason Wigfrid can eat it, but Wart cannot. It heals for 30 health and restores 37.5 hunger and 33 sanity, so it's pretty balanced. I would put it in A tier, but I want to bring it down a peg just because Wart can't eat it. B tier. This is the last of the three breakfast items. Waffles are made using one butter, some berries, and an egg. This dish looks tasty, but really isn't worth making since it has similar stats to eating butter by itself. D tier. This is the last of the non warly crockpot dishes. This usually happens when you let an absolute donut into the kitchen. Wet goop is not food, and you really only see this used to make rot or craft the terra firma tamper. F tier. Now that we're done with normie food, we can get into the real masterpieces of the Don't Starve culinary arts. These dishes can only be made by Warly and his red crockpot. And I know I seem a little biased, but these are the champion dishes of the game. Well, at least some of them. And is why I love cooking. We all know how hot those August days can get, so asparagus bacho comes in clutch for keeping your whole team cool. Two asparagus beers and two ice makes the best cooling food in the game, lowering your temperature by 20 degrees, healing for 3 health and restoring 25 hunger and 10 sanity. Give all your asparagus to Warly if you want some thermal salvation. S tier. Many iconic dishes in the culinary world were born of poverty, so it's no wonder that many chefs know how to make a delicious meal with whatever they've got. Some bones, onion, and anything except a twig makes bone bouillon, the hardiest meal in the game. 32 health, 150 hunger, and 5 sanity is pretty incredible for a dish that is 50% not food. S tier. Ugh, mailed. It's raining and I forgot my umbrella. No worry, fish cordon bleu keeps us dry. With two frog legs and some fish, Warley can make a dish that makes anyone who eats it immune to getting wet and immediately dries them off. Great if your robot friends are getting bothered by precipitation, or if you want to use armor instead of rain gear. S tier, no doubt about it. Okay, so I take back what I said about the French earlier. They're okay, I guess. Two fruits and some butter and honey gives us fresh fruit crepes. Healing for 60 health and restoring 150 hunger and 15 sanity, it's better than waffles. This is also Wes's favorite food. Funnily enough, he'll never get to taste it. S tier. Other than moggles, you won't use glowberries for much. That's where glowberry mousse comes in. With one greater glowberry or two lessers and some fruit, you'll get 3 health, 37.5 hunger, and 10 sanity, along with a bioluminescence that lasts about 2 days. Caving just got better. Now you can wear armor instead of light sources. S tier. Don't get haunted by your nightmares. Eat them instead. Grim Galette is made with two nightmare fuels, one onion, and one potato. This disc doesn't heal you or soothe your insanity, instead it actually swaps them, so if you're crazy but perfectly healthy, you can take the edge off and instead suffer osteoporosis, or let the voices win in exchange for a better physique. This dish seems perfect for characters like Wormwood, because his sanity restoration is so good. Once he eats the Grim Galette, he can quickly calm his intrusive thoughts down with some gardening. S tier. We're getting hot, as in hot shit. Hot dragon chili salad is terrible. It costs one dragon fruit and one chili pepper, and it heats you up. Its stats suck, and it's too expensive. Just make some dragon pie or grind chili pepper into chili flakes. F tier. Now this is a fishy stew. One fish, one onion, one toma root, and some ice makes moqueca. 60 health, 112.5 hunger, and 33 sanity is insane for the ingredient cost better than seafood gumbo, which is what you would have gotten if you were any other character. S tier. A little bit more palatable than monster lasagna, monster tartare still hurts your health and sanity. Weber would love it, but otherwise it's not worth it. F tier. This one is somehow worse than its normal counterpart. Two potatoes and an egg instead of garlic makes puffed potato souffle. It recovers about the same stats as creamy potato puree, but is more expensive by the way of the egg. I still have no clue why Clay made this exclusive to Warly when the normal version is superior and you spawn with the puree ingredients in your inventory. F tier. 
Fault Goat Shao Freud is the whole reason I'd even pick up Warly, along with Pepper Flakes. A goat horn, two honey, and some ice will imbue us with electric damage, a flat 1.5 damage multiplier, and it increases to two times when that enemy is wet. If you season this dish with Pepper Flakes, you could do as much as three times that damage. Warly really is the ultimate powerhouse. S tier. And that completes the tier list. This is all extremely opinionated, so if you have a reason to rate a food different, leave a comment and we'll talk, or hop into the Discord where you can talk with me directly. Link in the description. See ya, and stay sour.